Hello everybody, welcome back to our Drizzer Info channel. In today's video, I'll show you first things to do after setup on your OnePlus Pad 3. So the first thing that we want to do is we need to connect to the Wi-Fi. So let's go over to settings and we will be automatically in the Wi-Fi section. Now here we need to choose our Wi-Fi. So I'll choose mine and I'll enter the password. So I'll see you guys in a second. Now, as you guys can see, we are connected to the Wi-Fi. So the next step is we basically need to check for the software updates. So let's scroll down here, go to system and update and now choose software update. As you guys can see, it will check for updates automatically. And now we have an update available. So now we can click download and install. So I'll see you guys once it's installed. So that downloading took a lot of time. So now when it's done, we can click restart now. It will verify the update and then our device will simply restart. So all we gotta do now is wait for it to turn back on. So I'll see you guys once my device is back. So now after our device has restarted, what we can do is we can add or sign in to a Google account. So I recommend opening up Play Store and logging here because I think it's the fastest way. So you also guys can download the apps and get your tablet prepared. So let's head over to sign in. Now here we need to enter our email. And after we enter the email, we need to enter the password. So I'll see you guys once I enter mine. Now let's click next. And now click I agree. Here you can enable or disable the backup device data. I recommend you guys enabling it. Now let's open up Play Store again and click get started. Here you guys can install and update some apps. So I'll skip this one here and as you guys can see now we can basically go to our profile picture go to my apps and games and here go to see details of updates available. Now here we have 31 apps that require an update so let's just click update all and now all of those 31 apps will start updating. Now after that we need to configure the screen lock. So go over to settings. Now scroll a bit down to security and privacy. And here go to device unlock. Now select screen lock. And here you guys can select the password type like the numeric, alpha numeric and the pattern. So I recommend you guys using the numeric one. Now we have the information that we won't be able to access our device when we forget our password. So we need to enter six digits. Let's click use. You guys can set up a different password. And here also it will ask us to ask the face. So that was the next step. The tablet does it for us. Let's click add, click agree. And here click add face. So now click add now. Here we have the camera. And now we need to basically put our face here. It should take about 30 seconds to a minute. And that should be all. So for the next step, I recommend you guys changing the wallpaper. If you do like the default one, then keep it. But I always change my wallpapers. I scroll down and choose something from here. I think it's a very cool design. So I'll choose this one right here and here let's apply it to lock screen and home screen you guys can customize it however you guys would like to but this is my way of doing that so i'll just basically here we can also pinch to crop here we can change everything as you guys can see just like that also the clock font and here we can change the colors, but I would recommend keeping the ones that match your wallpaper. So here we can change everything as you guys can see. Let's 
quickly click apply. And also you can do that with the home screen too. So now let's click OK. And here we can choose the colors. As you guys can see, I would choose either the classy or the neutral or set up a custom color. So as you guys can see, you guys can set it up like that. I'll set up the classy. And now it looks just like this. And when we lock our tablet, then it looks like that. So now let's enter the password and everything is good. So what else can we do is we can uninstall unwanted apps. So if there are some apps on the device that you would like to delete, then go over to settings. And here we need to scroll down to apps. Now go to app management. And here we can delete apps that we don't want on our tablet. So I'm pretty sure we can delete. We cannot delete this one. It's probably the system one. We need to find an apps that are not the system one. So imagine you don't want to watch Netflix on the tablet. You can simply click on install and click OK. Now you guys can choose many apps from here like WPS Office. And you guys can do that with every single app except for the system ones. So now after that we can optimize our battery. So go back to settings and here choose the battery. Here you guys can basically change the battery modes from high performance to super power saving mode. Here we can check our battery health like our maximum capacity and here we can enable the charging limit or smart charging. So I recommend using the smart charging. I don't think it makes a bit of difference. I mean, the only difference is that the charging limit will delay the battery aging and will try to keep the battery at 80%. And the smart charging basically will charge to 80% with the normal speed and it will charge to 100% with a lower speed to try and slow down the battery wear and aging. So I do not recommend using the resume charging at 95%. I think that's pretty bad. And this is just my opinion. So that's it. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, then leave a like, sub and a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.